a job at the end of the world. I work security, protecting men from the dangers they cannot see. There's not a second goes by when I'm not thinking of you in some way. Going home, guys. Let's keep it moving. Damn, I guess Liam Neeson just ran out of people to beat up. Now he just, now he's beating up wolves. <laughs> he's Whoa. fucking going in to get. He's going against Mother Nature. I know. Wolf just mind his own business. Liam Neeson yeah. just come out of nowhere. Where's my daughter? <laughs> Wolf's like, hey man, I don't know. I'm just trying to get some needs. Well, well, clearly these wolves haven't seen Taken. No, because <laughs> yeah. they, they don't know who they fucking with. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Shit, Seriously, this guy's fucking people up with airline bottles of liquor. Yeah. You know? It's like, come on, bitches, let's go. I am Liam Neeson, which means you lose. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, I know. But hey, don't fuck with him. That. You got skills. I know. Like, <laughs> like, team Jacob, my ass. You better run back to the yeah. woods. And go fight vampires because you ain't gonna beat Liam Neeson. Oh, no, the, the wolves are like, "Hey, we ain't got his daughter, man. Well, you better find some white girl to give him because yeah. we need him to get out the forest now." <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> we might actually have an extra white girl. Right? <laughs> Here, they build a little white girl out of snow. Here, man, it is the daughter. <laughs> That's not her. <laughs> I can't help but think now when everybody sees this movie, it's all they're gonna be, th- be thinking about is Liam Neeson beating the fuck and killing Jacob right there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, take Kristen Stewart. No, seriously. Yeah. Take, yeah. You have to appreciate the fact that like Liam Neeson does Taken probably just kind of a throwaway. Like, ah, whatever. I just need a paycheck. It probably won't even be out the theater. And now it's just like created this whole new career for him. Uh, just playing badass action heroes Hell every, yeah, every, every, you know, and what, he's every like couple in months. His 50s? Yeah. It's like you just never know. I know. Right? As he, an actor, what's going to what's gonna hit? And he's got maybe, yeah. what, five, seven or eight more years yeah. of being able to even physically do roles yeah. like this? Yeah. But you know, the thing is, he's pulling a Charlie motherfucking Bronson. And yeah. thank God, yeah. because I definitely think this generation needs one. And I mean, seeing this guy, just seeing him on screen being a badass, I'm like, I'm sold. That guy is a man's man. Just like that goddamn, just like that goddamn review just popped up on the screen, which is hilarious. Yeah, all the goddamn reviews yeah. already. Uh, it's like, oh, this is a man's man's film. Oh, you, oh boy, man, you gotta have the biggest dick to love this film. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, no, no. I was, I was like, wow. It's like a bunch of teenagers wrote no, these. No. I was like, no, it's a bunch of nerdy forty year olds. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, the only place I think this played so far was at Butnamathon, yeah, which we true. we don't go to because yeah, no. I don't like sitting up for 24 hours straight <laughs> and watching someone else's movie decisions yeah. that's me personally if you guys love it more power to you yeah I, but I, yeah. yeah so it's all like hashtag head geek 666 says <laughs> i would suck this movie's dick no, no. <laughs> which i don't get because yeah. liam liam neeson's looking at this he's like what the fuck is this you know he what, is. did my daughter did my daughter fucking come up with these credits it, it's funny because yeah in the trailer is i guess is dealing trying to deal to an internet savvy audience because Everything, even the title of the movie, has a hashtag in front of it. Yeah. And a lot of the time, and the and the and all the critiques for the movie, you know, usually say so and so from the New York Reporter says this is one of the most brilliant films. Ever. But people here, they're like, uh, <laughs> but Zuka, Joe no, says, well, like it says, like Nerd Six Seventy Three says, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe like there's a subplot we didn't see in the, I the movie. I orgasm all over this movie. <laughs> maybe it's where Liam Neeson's tweeting it the whole time. Fighting <laughs> 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 yeah. wolves, lol. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest movies I've ever seen. This is going to be a tour de force. You know, you get another tweet. Where's my goddamn daughter? Okay, hey man, what the fuck Liam is up? Neeson with- has the biggest dick on the planet. Yeah. In fact, that's what the movie says. Warning, you must have a dick to yeah, see this movie. You don't. Your, your balls have to have balls. Send your bitch back out to the car because you need a dick to see this motion picture. <laughs> but you better have a bitch to send back to the yeah. car. Not have any of you pussies in there. Oh uh, you know, this movie, it does look like what they are describing it, though. It's a man's man's movie. It's about wilderness it's, survival. Yes, it's an oil drilling team who has to go up against nature. And by nature, they mean a bunch of mad ass wolves. And they, the wolves are angry because these guys are in their territory. Plus, I guess they're hungry. And they just well, want to yeah. eat a bunch they're of people. They're wolves. They're dicks. <laughs> wolves are dicks. I know. Okay. Hey, that's what it sounds like. They, they're in their wolves' neighborhood. The why, wolf, why, yeah. why you got to dog on wolves like that? Well, you know, I mean, somebody comes in my neighborhood, I don't try and eat them. Yeah. <laughs> 
watched the same. Didn't, yeah. didn't you see the Twilight movies? Hello. <laughs> I mean, well, it is kind of like that. Like they're in the wrong neighborhood. Like the wolves on the tree line. Talking about it's trespass. I, I, yeah. Hey, white boy, you lost. <laughs> I know, dude, that was like the wolf Compton or something. Oh, <laughs> you remember yeah. something? Yeah. Come out to play. You're on the wrong turf. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo, man, you looking for some cocaine or something? <laughs> yeah. uh, you looking for a white girl? We got a bunch of them. But I, I really do like the whole attitude of man going against nature. It is funny because in the trailer, I guess he just gave it away. It's like, hey, look, if you ain't Liam Neeson, then you're dead. You're fucked. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it does kind of show that. Like, yeah. like, that's the wrong plane to be on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah if you were like, on a plane with him, you'd be like, ah, oh, shit. I know, because it's funny because all these guys look like, wow, we just survived a plane crash. And I can go talk to my wife and see my kid. <laughs> 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 just, well, you know, just eating everybody. Liam Neeson looks like he's fucking raised by a goddamn grizzly bear. Right. So, I yeah, mean, you does. can't help but look at these two forces of nature, go at it, and not be excited. And dude. if the wolves don't eat those other guys, Liam Neeson is going to. Yeah. Because <laughs> Liam Neeson does not yeah. miss a meal. I'm hungry. Yeah. I, think, I think he was wearing his, uh, their skins <laughs> in that trailer. I was telling these wolves, <laughs> I eat human beings. <laughs> I'll do to you. I'll fuck you up. I'll fuck up my own kind. What, what do you think I'm gonna do to you? I'm wearing my buddy on my back right now. But, but you know what? The movie is really echoing well, like one of my favorite movies as far as like man versus nature, and that's The Edge. I knew you were gonna I say mean, that because yeah. I fucking love that. It's like yeah. kill the motherfucking bat. And no, no. I'm looking. For, I mean, that's why I'm like, wow. You know what? Why that's the one with the, what's his name? Anthony uh, Hopkins. Anthony, Anthony Hopkins. Yeah. Who, and, yeah. Who fucks Al up Bald- a bear? Yeah. He kills the motherfucking bat. <laughs> but uh, I mean, watching the watching that though movie, it's like it's one of those movies where you're like man you get you so excited because like they bring up things like that it's almost like an educational film after a while when you're watching and not only is it great but it's educational because you're just like wow man you know what I better really pay attention to this movie. I'm going to watch this movie again so I can pay attention so the next time I get stuck out there in the wilderness, I'm going to be just like Liam Neeson or fucking Anthony Hopkins. <laughs> yeah, he won't I, even I, go I, I, camping. I can't think you're not going to be like either one of them. <laughs> he, yeah. he won't even go camping. How are you <laughs> getting stuck out yeah, in the woods? <laughs> the virtual internet woods, maybe. Hey, hey call, look, <laughs> hey, look I, I've been to your room, all right, hey. Cyrus? And that, 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 if that ain't the wilderness, I don't know what Cole, it is. You know what you know what you're going to be like when you go out into the woods? What? Breakfast. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. see so you try to strap bottles of your fingers. And it's like, well, the wolves are just like, okay, that just makes the meal crunchy. <laughs> I can tell you right now, they're going to personify the wolves. You know, they're going to give these wolves a little more personality than the average wolf has, mm-hmm. you know, because it already looks like he's going up against the biggest, most badass wolf in the forest. Yeah, dude. they're the dire wolves from Game of Thrones. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you see those wolves, they don't even look like real wolves. Like their eyes are glowing and, and they're bigger than normal. They almost have a, a glow around. Around them, it's almost like they're saying, "Hey, man, you know what really fucks with humans? These night vision goggles, man. Put that shit on. That'll fuck with their ass real good. Hey, as long as they don't look like those fucking Twilight wolves, I'm happy. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah they, 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 they like look, Twilight they look genuinely ferocious well, they because they are real wolves. I think you know, and that's CG. Yeah, yeah, those are. Yeah. I don't think they are. I mean, they didn't look real. <laughs> they didn't look real to me at all. <laughs> they didn't. You I don't, don't think? Know. No, I, really? I can guarantee you that they're using a combination of real wolves and probably maybe CG when they really have to. Honestly, and, they, and, they kind of remind me of those creatures from Attack the Block. What? That would be awesome. <laughs> really? <laughs> that movie would be really fucking awesome. That was the case, Liam. You're selling this movie too much to me. Turns out this is a sequel to Attack the Block, and they just didn't we tell us. Did <laughs> yeah, wow. nice. no, it's, awesome. I in, I love these movies when they actually do not even just give more personality to the animals that are going up against them, but I like it when they do it with the elements. I mean, the elements play a character in the movie itself. And I guess that's what they mean by the gray, because not only is he going up against wolves, but he's also having to go up against just, you know, this this frozen, harsh environment. Man versus nature. Yeah. The classic yeah. story types. Yeah. And that's, no, no, he's he's going to get all Jack London on nature's ass. <laughs> and in his next movie, he's going to fight a tornado. <laughs> <laughs> and he will win. Yeah, he'll win. <laughs> tornado go, okay. I, I want to see, see that trilogy. Tornado, tidal wave. <laughs> <laughs> he just takes them all. Yeah, yeah. He just stand out on a beach, yeah, just punching away. Yeah, a volcano. Yeah. Liam Neeson should have been in 2012. Because all yeah, they have to do is just look at nature going crazy, going like, that old, that old <laughs> scene with a limo yeah, being straight. chased by the earthquake? He would have just got out of that limo and stood there and looked at that crack coming. Yeah. It just would have stopped. I know. <laughs> Come on! Honestly, you see that lava coming at him, and then he gets those beer cans and attaches them to his goddamn fist. <laughs> like, Come on! <laughs> um, Find your surroundings! <laughs> but I don't know, man. It's funny how Liam Neeson has become. I mean, we never thought about it until I guess he became a Jedi, and everybody thought, like, 
Like, God damn, I really like, Liam Neeson really is kind of a badass. Every movie that he's not, in, not during he, Phantom Menace. <laughs> I didn't think that. Well, that was the one where he's that. If, <laughs> there was only one thing that ever beat Liam Neeson, and that was a Phantom Menace. <laughs> that was the one he's like, okay, was. George Lucas, you win. <laughs> I'm not going to act anymore. I retire. You ain't going to fuck me up. You're right. No, well, but I think it was after he saved all those Jews that he became an action hero. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he cried like a bitch at the end of it. Uh, 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 <laughs> come on, really? I'm going to save one uh, more. Uh, Jeff Lewis list, really? <laughs> one more. Be a man, goddammit. <laughs> yeah, you're going to have to stand alone yeah. on that one, Corey. No, friend. you know what? No, because he's such a badass, he should have went and fought Hitler himself. That's how he could have prevented all that shit. He dropped yeah, the ball right. in that one. <laughs> well, but, yeah, well, how come, how come Tarantino couldn't make that movie? Exactly. No, he's, I mean, Liam Neeson really has become the action hero. I mean, there's different times when we all, it all dawned on It's like, wow, you know, Liam Neeson is a badass. But you look back in almost every movie that he's in, and there's a movie where he's beating the shit out of somebody. Okay. I mean, you, you can, he can be in romance comedy somebody's gonna get their ass beat he's gonna have, he's gonna slap his lead chick or something you know <laughs> you brought that on yourself what i just i said hello you know <laughs> shut up it's kind of like i guess the man versus nature version of taken i mean people have grown that was a time you 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 didn't see him on that <laughs> cell phone talking to the wolves like, i know i have a certain set of skills <laughs> <laughs> tell you, you see mother nature calling Ooh. him yeah see, come <laughs> yeah. after me you know yeah. i'm gonna get you mother nature yeah good luck <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh shit he's really here <laughs> but i know it's i i, I remember you, there are times when lean neeson you know we all thought he was the thespian it's almost like he just gave up on that she said i'm just gonna be a fucking badass that's that's all. Well, he can I, play. I don't know that he necessarily gave up. He just decided to do something else. Yeah. No, he told me. He said, I'm not even yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Man, you've said shit. Liam Neeson so many times now, it sounds like it's not a real name anymore. Right. <laughs> it's like, what is that? This is Liam Neeson. It just sounds weird. I don't like it's it. Force I, we're going to call him just like the dude now. I know. You, the you, man. It's almost like you go to a restaurant, you know, some fancy restaurant. I'll have the Liam Neeson. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it sounds it good. Oh, yeah. oh, the Liam Neeson will have you. <laughs> <laughs> you, got, you trying to eat me? <laughs> no man people are going to be making posters of him like Chuck Norris you know? <laughs> like, I gotta tell you though I, I can't help but think that maybe this is going to be pretty good not just because of the stuff we're talking about like wow this this could be a lot of fun mm-hmm. certainly not every Liam Neeson action movie is great look at the unknown right. if you remember or just un, was it unknown from last year mm-hmm. I believe uh, yeah, 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 yeah but not yeah. so great but uh, this one I think yeah possibly because he's you know he's an A-list actor sure. mm-hmm. and for him to take a role that's up in the fucking snow and shit running mm-hmm. around like that I'd be like this better be one fuck of a good <laughs> script because <laughs> yeah. I would be screw that <laughs> I, the only th- I tell you what has me worried about it though I mean they're showing you a, a lot of the best things from the movie in the trailer I believe and I want to see how the rest of the movie plays out because this is directed by Joe Carnahan right who directed Smoking Aces. Film I was not a big boom, fan boom, of. Boom, boom, boom. But yeah. you know what? <laughs> I, I never yeah. saw that movie. So okay, I can't go, comment. Hey, but hey, <clears throat> the shit gets deeper. Uh, he directed the A team also. See, I like oh, the A team. But I like the A team. Did you? We all gave the A team of Midland did to, we? to no. good reviews. I thought I gave Pretty it Pretty sure we did. Uh, no, we no. did not. No. Well, I tell you, I am I not afraid remember. to say I like that film, and I've lo- talked to lots of other people who do too. Yeah. I thought I've it achieved it. exactly what an A team nah, movie should. I, that's funny. It's like, and I talked to other people who do. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> well, I'm just saying it's that's not universally. That you're up against. I'm that's, saying that's, it's not universally means. reviled the way you're insinuating yeah. it. I never said that. You Me know, you and like you all gotta, my friends know, back here. Yeah, like you got a pack of wolves <laughs> behind them. Yeah, I liked it. All these wolves liked it too. But you better like it too. Yeah, I didn't say it was reviled. What I'm trying to say is that you guys are wrong, and I am right. And if you would just go with that this would have worked out we could have avoided all this we, nonsense we could have been home now we could always use the the Cyrus argument of it got this percentage on Rotten Tomatoes which <laughs> I almost never do that okay that is not one of my things so you see it, it is a lot. now but, no that is not yeah, true yeah. I would bring it up on occasion but uh, being the occasion only being one like seven days did. a week yeah. oh, oh okay. shit the fuck <laughs> bullshit <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I, and Leon wears denim suits every day. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't say every day. That's true. We said three times a week. No, that's not every day. Come on now. No, I, 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 you know what? Whether you like a team or not, I, I didn't like a team, and it, and for me that that that's a big sort of just red flag for me on this movie, which I haven't seen the film, so I don't know. I don't know what to expect from that, knowing that this name is attached to it, because it looks like one of the things that. I didn't like about the A team and Smoking Aces. Well, Smoking Aces just seemed like a silly Tarantino ripoff. Now that's a movie I know a, a lot of people actually did like. 
uh, 18, just ridiculous. And it looks like this director has gone away from such ridiculous material and has something a little more serious here. And, and I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what he does with this. Well, 18 was already an established property. So, I mean, we all, you had we, to all we, we, we all knew what 18 was all about. We yeah. didn't need another movie to tell us, to remind us that. With this, I mean, it's like, yeah, this is going on a whole other direction. It, it is Liam Neeson versus the elements and Mother Nature. And, I mean, it's like, how, how can you really go wrong with that type of premise? Especially, I don't know who wrote the script. That could be a whole other story. I don't, I don't know who Do wrote Do you have any thing. wood to knock but, on right now yeah. after just <laughs> saying that? I know. You have I, Cursed us. You have doomed yeah. this film. How could it go wrong? Yeah, on your I, head. I had high hopes for the movie until <laughs> co-host just said that. I know. You're totally <laughs> he's dead now. <laughs> Look, he's going to be great, all right? Just, well, just keep thinking the edge part two, all right? Uh, I didn't like the edge. <laughs> you didn't like the edge? Like the edge? Pussy. Like oh, Pussy dude. of him. Get well, out of here. True. It was no A-team. Yeah, it was it no A-team. Because yeah. it was boring. <laughs> the edge was awesome. I don't know oh what your problem God. Sure as hell was no smoking aces. <laughs> well, this, this movie comes out. And that's it. This movie comes it's, out. It comes out. Just that's how you know the movie's coming. Out. And they, you don't need to know when because yeah. Liam Neeson gonna come to your door and tell you the movie's out. What are you doing sitting here? Go watch my movie. This, don't worry this about movie when this movie comes out when Liam Neeson tells it to come don't, out. Don't worry about when this movie is coming out. It'll come out when Liam Neeson's good and ready for it. To come out. Keep your fucking mouth shut. I know the guy is a projection. We're getting ready to start. Oh, you, oh, you press that switch. Did I say you can press that switch? Oh no 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 no. <laughs> and if nothing else, that the poster this movie is gonna tell you. Want, you're gonna want to see this movie because Liam Neeson's face is on there. Go see my fucking movie. He looks like he's ready to beat your ass no matter what. When you come up to the theater, that like, post oh, is gonna tell you what you want to see. <laughs> yeah. Get away from Tintin. Go, see the, go see, see the great. No matter where you're standing in the theater lobby, it's like he's looking at you. Yeah. Yeah. It's because he is. It's a direct feed. Oh, it's like your surroundings. <laughs> no, a movie comes out actually very soon. Comes out on the, on the 27th of January. Hell yeah. Oh, damn. A, That's- yeah. That's real sick. That's now. <laughs> well, let's hope right it's now. not another January dump piece of shit. That that is true. That is the Come thing. On, Cyrus. I'm sorry. The odds statistically, they're crappy in January. I, 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 there are exceptions. Yeah. There's always like one film that breaks the rule, but we haven't seen that would it yet. Be Liam Neeson. I know. There's one. There's one film that breaks the rule, or there's one guy who breaks your back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that'd that'd be, be Liam Neeson. If you don't go see his movie. You're gonna go see my motherfucking movie. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Take them on one at a time. I want to see your face, feel your hands in mine. 